Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions, and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 10 of Lord Elmeloy 2 Case Files today. So, in the last episode we had lots of actions, and we, we got to see this first part when the, the rails kind of went somewhere else and like into that uh, forest, and they were basically trapped there, so they had to like find a way to to dispel that forest or something, it, it was kind of like a reality marvel, uh, like they said. So they had to go and destroy some of the, like the the main places, like the, about the ley lines and something like that. And in the end, they did it. But Gray is still fighting uh, that other servant, and I kind of wonder how that's going to go. Um, but yeah, we also saw that um, uh, Olga found out about uh, like some hidden thing in a room. And when she like used like the password for it or something, uh, she opened it, and precious ads uh, came out of it, which was like really like creepy. And she, it, it appeared that there was something else, like uh, a necklace or something like that. Uh, so I wonder if that's what was like a, I don't know. I wonder if that's something like relevant or or not. And we also saw that uh, there was like a snake spying on her and the, that other girl from the policies. Uh, she joined uh, that room and she made like this creepy face, uh, not like a creepy face, but like, like a guilty one. So I don't know if she is like really up to something, if she was the one who actually killed Trisha or not, or if she is just like trying to like to to get something and she was like basically just spying on Olga and hoping her like to open that thing. But... I think we'll get to discover some of that in this episode, so I'm really curious about that. Anyway, we know that Waver is still like um, not fully recovered, he's still like in, in the bed recovering from his wound from before. So um, hopefully he, he gets like better in this episode uh, as well. And yeah, just uh, really curious to see what's going to happen. Spe specifically also like this fight between Grey and the other servant. Uh, that, that's probably going to be a really cool fight. And I don't know what's going to be like the outcome of it, so really curious about that. So I hope you guys are ready, and let's start the episode. Waver. Oh, it's Kenny's. Yeah, I was wondering, like I. This reminded me of someone. The fifth? Okay, it's just dreaming. Damn. Yeah, this is like a dream. Bastion, yeah. Okeanos? Hmm, that was interesting. I think that's basically that was basically happening inside of his head, but that was really cool. He's gonna make up his mind. I wonder if he is going to like eventually see Iskandar one more time during this anime. I also knew that this was 
about like waiver like this anime was about waiver basically um and that i would get to see more of him like uh like as a grown-up but i had no idea to focus so much on his relation between on his relation like with iskandar basically so yeah so pretty pretty cool to see all of this And I really like the end of this opening. What are they doing? It's over already. Hmm. He couldn't fight in that storm, I guess. Yep. King Archer. Oh, look at Saber's face, yeah. Is this what the invocation is about? Was it about Grey? Just wants to see Iskandar again. I don't think he cares about the war. It would probably take a while for him to meet him. Yeah, Okeanos. Hmm. Oh. She has music eyes as well. Yeah, we saw this. And servants have mystical eyes as well. Or mystic eyes. It's this one. Really?
Hmm. And with no heart. Hmm, what's that about? That's ads? Yeah. I'm being shaved. Damn! Look at that! I feel bad for Head, but Gray is probably having so much fun. I mean, it's probably normal for her, but... <laughs> that looked great. So if Asian let her go... I wonder what's her, like, true objective on all of this. And who her master is. Oh, nice. <laughs> hmm. This one. Damn. Did she up to? Hmm, yeah, about that. Hmm. So where was it? Oh then. So she was still like investigating. She's not the one who did it. That's her head, right? Damn. Holy shit.
Yeah, thanks for showing that. What? Oh, she did that to herself. She killed herself. What the? Garabo, it's his name. Hmm. What? Hmm. This is so messed up. Yeah, there is like a, sus a suspect right now, the main one. Hmm. It's the other girl with the mask. Whoa! What's this? Oh. Deputy manager.
All right then. Yeah. Damn, that must hurt. Both of them. Hmm. Things are getting really complicated. These two. He didn't do anything in the end. Um. Hmm. That necklace. She noticed it before, yeah. Something glued. Was it? Oh, alright. The necklace. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. So this basically told us that the one who like not really that, but Basically, that girl from the policies, she she might be involved in this, after all. We knew uh, from before that there was a necklace, and I, I actually had forgotten that uh, Grey noticed it as well when we first saw Olga and Trisha. Uh, she noticed that necklace. And we saw that necklace when Trisha's head dropped in the last episode. So I wonder what's that thing? That's probably uh, like a big key to this mystery. But yeah, this, this episode was so confusing. Like that part. About the Mystic Eyes. 
it's probably the kind of episode that I'll need to watch again to understand it better. I actually didn't know that Olga was abandoned, abandoned before. It's really sad. And I'm curious to find out, like about about all of this. It's uh, it's such a mystery to me. And hopefully by the end I understand everything. That's my biggest wish right now. But yeah, this was a this was a fun episode. Uh, once again, like not really like fun fun, but yeah, it was really interesting. We got lots of information, and apparently, like it's not entirely clear. Uh, that this policies girl is like uh, like the culprit and she just seemed like to be investigated it and trying to like find out who was the one who did it and it was uh, like uh, curious to see that uh, it was actually Trisha who did that to herself uh, mostly because she saw it coming so she decided to do it herself in order to leave uh, like uh, some proof uh, for others to investigate uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm really curious about this thing, about the necklace, and Grey also like mentioned it at the end. And it's probably like uh, going to be a big key to, to, to all of this, so so yeah. Anyway, I might be re-watching this episode uh, soon, uh, just to understand it better. And completely like, um, understand uh, that part when they were talking about the incident uh, seven years ago. Like there was a lot about it, about like meeting this guy with no heart. And it's apparently re related to to um, Karabu, I believe that's his name. Uh, so yeah, that's a um, that was like a lot of information in only one episode. Uh, but it was it was great uh, to to learn all of that and to realize some things. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah. I'll see you guys uh, in the next episode, so see ya!